What you see on the screen is a machine that was either built inside of Gibbs or imported from your favorite CAD system. You'll also notice that we put the XY origin at the center of the table. And we have gone to the properties and given each component a name. Something that makes sense, something that we know when we go to build our machine, which piece belongs where. Now let's go to plugins, machine simulation, build a machine. Here we can add a component, remove a component, set up spindle origin, tool change position, machine reference, or min and max travel range. Let's add a component. First, you select a solid body and say add. This is a parent-child relationship so the base belongs to the root. Axis label. If this was a movable axis, X, Y, Z, A, B, or C, we would then put in the appropriate label. You can go in and make up any color or add any color. In our case, we're going to use our custom color that we have already previously defined. And we'll say OK to that. Let's add another component. Add belongs to the base. It has no axis label. We're going to change the color to orange. We'll say OK. It is fixed and we're done. One more component, the front feed screw. Add to the base. Change the color to gray and we'll say OK to that. Let's add the XY table. We'll add the Y table which belongs to the base. Now because it is a movable axis we need to give it a label and a color if we'd like. Now the translation vector here is minus one. And the reason we type in minus one is because this is machine centric not part centric. Therefore in order to make the part or the tool move in a positive motion the table needs to move in a negative motion. Or, if you just use the right hand rule, we'll say OK to this. Now we're going to add the X axis, which belongs on top of the Y axis. We're going to give it its label. We'll make its color gray. Its translation vector is minus 1 in the X axis and we say OK. Let's zoom in, we'll add the Gibbs Cam logo. We're going to add this to the X axis, we'll change its color to black. Now it is not a movable axis but it does belong to the X axis so it is fixed to the X axis. Next we'll add the part. Say add to the X axis. It is a special component which needs its own label as P. And we'll say OK to that. Now let's uh, add our Z axis. Select our axis. Belongs to the base. Give it our axis label. We change the color to our custom color that we defined. Translation vector is 1. And we'll say OK. Let's add a few more components here. A spindle, which belongs to the Z axis. We'll change the color to gray and it is fixed to the Z axis. Now we'll add the spindle bolts, which belong again to the Z axis. Make them black. Say OK to that. Then we'll add our CAT40 holder, which belongs to the Z axis. The color is black, and we'll say OK to that. Last component is the tool. Again, this belongs to the Z axis. It's a special component which needs its own label, and we'll say OK to that. Now that we put in all our components, 
we need to tell the machine the distance from the origin to the spindle. So we've already created a point. We're going to select that point. We're going to go to Setup, and we're going to say From Selected Point. These values then get put in automatically. Remember, any value that you put in here is in millimeters. And we'll say OK to that. Now let's save and save your machine into a folder. You give it a machine name and I'll say save. We create all the bodies you need for simulation and you also get this very nice simulation window. This allows you to do is to move the machine around to make sure that all the components are traveling correctly, that everything is moving the way it's supposed to move, and you get a preview of all the things that you've done in your machine build. This concludes a machine build uh, portion.